Hi, I'm CC Torres with IDHTV, and we are here with the gorgeous women of wrestling. That's it. Hello, how are you? Okay, let me get your name. Uh, I am Hollywood. <laughs> Hollywood. So I'm sure people know you. You have fans coming up to see you. What's that like? Um, without the fans, we would not be here, and I love, love being here. And this is, I've been coming here since 2015, by the way. So um, the fans are everything. As you saw. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. And how is it to hear people, they talk about you, they have probably have photos of you, yes. and they're still they're still into all of this. Which is great, because uh, GLOW has been around for 35 years, 36 years, and so uh, they love the old GLOW stuff, but then I have to find older <laughs> GLOW stuff because they come back and go, what's new? Right. So yeah. this one behind us here, yeah. I found that, that is 30, that's 35 years old, and that was taken in London when we went to London. So I try to find some different stuff, and. Producer joked you must have been 10 years old because you look oh, great. You are very, very nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. So gorgeous ladies off wrestling. It's cool. iconic though. Tell us about the history of it. So GLOW started in 1985. So for me, I did the pilot. There were 12 ladies that did the pilot. Mondo Guerrero was our trainer. We had, had no idea what we were doing, seriously. And uh, we learned how to wrestle from Mondo. We took it to Nappy, and what we did is sold the show, and we sold it. I quit my job, which was the medical field, and then Glow, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling was born, and I did four seasons of that show. What inspired you to go from medical field oh, I know you're gonna say to that. wrestling, well, yes? <laughs> let me think of that. I used to have a whole- Take your time. Take your time. Uh, I had a saying for it a long time ago, but um, I had an audition, and, um, for me, when you're young, you have no fear. So when you have no fear, you do what comes. And when, when life uh, gives you that opportunity, you take it. And for anybody else who's young and innovative and has a lot of energy, I, I really think that you should do what your dreams tell you to do. Don't be afraid, just go for it. That's amazing, that's great. We only live once, so do it. That's great advice, Hollywood. And look at this picture of you back there. That's when I was uh, 22 years old, this is, myself not much has changed i still you know i still like to dress that look and this is beautiful because this is one of our um uh makeup artists and she gave me a star and i love to this day stars are my thing you look beautiful You're, then and now i love you you are so kind <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay. and talk about how wrestling has evolved now and so you got to see it from the from start the of women being accepted so, so there were many uh icons before us uh, veterans before us, so we can never not thank the moolahs and all the different ladies. Uh, then it was us, and then you have the WWE ladies and the divas and that revolution. And wow, um, I just think that they're getting big, better, more beautiful, and they're giving them lots more time in the ring, and that's tremendous. Why is it cool to have women in wrestling? It was a male-dominated field. Right. I think for young women, they need like uh, someone to look up to. And so we are kind of like, I don't want to call us super heroines or anything, but but kind of we, we led the road. And I think uh, there's female empowerment in all of this as well. And uh, for young girls, they need someone to look up to sometimes. I wish that we had more when I was growing up. You should do this. You should do that. Don't do that. I will say don't. Don't be doing this in your 50s or 60s, but I am not at 60 yet, but I love what I do and um, thank you. Just thank all the, the kids and the youngsters that um, come up for autographs all the time. And thank you to their parents because it wasn't for their parents, they wouldn't know us. And so gorgeous ladies of wrestling, you guys are not scary. You don't seem too scary to come up up to. So people see you out here at the at the cons or they see you. What do you want to say to them? Like, come and say hi. Oh my gosh. You have to come out and see the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. And we are sweet and we're nice and we're not very mean. Only in the ring. And I'm a heel. I could say that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us what, what it was like wrestling in the ring. It was, did you actually wrestle? Was it for real? So, yeah, <laughs> that's a good question. So I actually ended up breaking my leg in three places. I have seven screws and two plates in my leg. So oh my goodness. it didn't happen inside the ring. It happened outside the ring. And I was wrestling. And yes, accidents do happen. They just do. Yeah. But And I thought to myself, I am never going to do this again. And what did I do? As soon as I was healing, four months in, boom, right back into the ring again. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Any other injuries? 
None. No. no. Pretty lucky though. I mean, not lucky because you have <laughs> the screws and the blades. Those are still in there. But you know what? I'm walking well, and I did a lot of rehab, and I'm all good. So it happens. And you obviously still keep active. Of course, because you can't yeah. look like us. <laughs> uh, and I, I still wrestle, which is uh, for indie stuff. Uh, NWA is another one. Billy Corgan is a friend of mine. And oh, he's such a great person. Um, and a little bit of indie, uh, uh, blah, I can't even talk, indie stuff. And I do a lot of these conventions. So there's a, like the Wrestling Guy store, which is behind us. He hires a lot of wrestlers to come in and do autographs, and I do that all over here yeah. and on the East Coast as well. And did I see that you do stunt work? A little bit of stunt work. If you want to look at IMDb, you can see it, all of it. Yeah. Oh, amazing. You're just amazing. Just incredible. Yep. Yep. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you want to find out more. If you want to find out some more, you can follow me at Instagram, which is official Glow Hollywood. And there's good old Twitter, Glow Hollywood. So there you have it. Okay, if you were to, uh, to attack me as a heel, Something gentle, please. What would you do? Would well, you the first thing, I'll put you in a headlock. So we would do this first. <laughs> then I turn you around and give you a punch. Oh, I would love that. Here we go. And then we're going to put her in a sleeper. Right. She's already gone, ah! folks. But I have to take over. All right. Uh, this is Hollywood saying goodbye. Thank you, everybody, for being here. <laughs>